Hi, Spark Team. I want to talk about reward markers for deaf dogs. So in animal training, we often use clickers or whistles to mark behavior that we like in animals. And we do that by building up an association between the sound, the click or the whistle, and food. So we click, then we feed, or we whistle and then we feed, and the animal learns that the click or whistle predicts something good happening and it becomes a conditioned reinforcer or a bridge. Deaf dogs can't hear, so what should we do about that? And there's a lot of talk about that and people, everybody has their own opinion. Some people like to use a hand flash, I don't. And I don't like the hand flash for a number of reasons. The main one is, my hand is open in an open palm a lot of the time. That's just sort of a natural position for our hands to be in. And if you've trained dogs at all with food, you know that every dog on the planet who's been trained with food knows this means cookies are coming. So when you have a hand signal that's ambiguous, like a hand flash, what becomes a lot more significant to the dog is this move. And it becomes less useful as a reinforcer to do this when they're really looking for this. What I like to do instead is do a thumbs up. And the reason I like to do the thumbs up is because I can hold treats in my hand. So I can do thumbs up, flick them a treat like a lifesaver. Thumbs up, flick them a treat like a lifesaver. And that means that my hand reaching in a pocket, yeah, I'm getting treats. But that's not nearly the significant thing of this coming up because this is what predicts that happening. So that's the one thing I use. The other thing I use is what's called the flicker in a lot of circles. It's one of these little tiny um, key fob flashlights and it's just got a diffuser on the end. So this one happens to be a ping pong ball. And this one is part a dead squeaky that I've cut in half and just taped to it. So all of those disemboweled squeakers that your dog chews up, take them out, cut them in half, and you have a really nice light diffuser for a flicker. And the last thing I have is, taped on here, a little um, plastic uh, bottle from, I think, some sort of spray cleaner. But it's just a plastic cap and it's semi-translucent, which really makes this nice diffusing light. So you can make these things pretty cheap. I think you can pick these things up for a couple bucks. Uh, if you go to tech shows, they're often given away as swag. So I have a few that I just got for free from going to tech shows. You tape something that will diffuse the light and you have this great marker 